Mike, how you doing, bro? Hey, Ted. Good to see, see you, man. buddy. Good to see, Good to Where's, see you. Where my babies? Are They're they, here. All of them's here. Are they all set up? All set up, ready to go, all, all ready to check ready in, go. cleaned up. You're good. I just need to sell them so I don't have to ship them back. I don't want to pay twice. I want to pay once. We'll ship you new ones back. That works for me. OK. Thanks, brother. I don't usually send cars to auctions, but this event has gotten better and better and better. And I'm here. I figured, let me try. Let me send some cars up. Chrissy. <laughs> How are you, darling? Oh, good to have you back. Ted Vernon arrived, and it was like my uncle walked in the door, and I had to give him a big old hug. He is like family here at GAA. We've got a great run of cars. Cosworth Vega. I have a black one. I got that. I got that. Well, you need that. I got that. Oh, well, how about that? I got that. OK, then look at that. I like that. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, looks like Mr. Green's waiting on us right here. Dean loves to crack jokes about my loud shirts. Good luck this year, pal. It's white. Hiya, Dean Green. Hey, Ted Vernon, how you doing? Where's your ugly shirt you normally wear? I left it with you. <laughs> <laughs> you always got to get me. Well, you know, we got something new every time you come up to show you. Yeah. We got new sky boxes. This is fantastic. We built them since the last time he was here. We have a buffet restaurant, a bar. When the people come in, they do not have to leave. We tried to give it an automobile look. We've got stainless steel walls, the racing seats. Everything is automobile. You know, Dean, I can see every car in the building from right here. It's amazing. We gave Ted an official VIP pass. And as long as he you know, sort of behaves himself, we'll let him stay up here. I honestly didn't know if I was going to get to be up here, but here I am, official. Now, I'm a floor guy, but between the buffet and the bar and this really beautiful seating, I could change. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is, 2004 Taurus, Dale Jarrett, UPS NASCAR. The reason I'm selling this car is because it hasn't done well in Miami, but I'm in North Carolina, which is NASCAR country. What better place in North Carolina or South Carolina? to sell a NASCAR. These cars are now finding their way to the senior circuit where older gentlemen are driving these cars in competition today. I personally think this is too valuable a car to do that with, but you know, it is what it is. I just don't want to bring it home. I got 24 grand in it. If it gets into mid-teens or close to it, it's gone. Gotcha. Is that fair? Get it out, but run it at least to 12, 13 grand. We'll get a rid of it. This is a NASCAR car I bought, a Dale Jarrett car, and uh, I don't know much about NASCAR. I don't know much about these cars. If I can't sell this in NASCAR territory, I ought to give it up. And now we're going to go to number 80. How about this? 2004 Taurus. Dale Jarrett Special, UPS sponsor. 350 board to a 383. Come on up and take a look. We're going to start the bidding on this 2000 Taurus now. Dale Jarrett, UPS number 88, working in Ford Taurus. All right, what are we going to do here, folks? Right, it's very frustrating. I figured I could sell it up here. I mean, it's a NASCAR. I guess I wasn't right. I've done well with race cars in the past, and I really thought this one would knock a home run, but it didn't even get a bunt. In NASCAR country, this car didn't do a thing. You never, you never know. You know, you bring something you don't think is going to do anything, and it hits a home run. It is what it is. Number 14, we've got a 1986 Pontiac Fiero SE. 1,500. That's all, it's over. I'm done. All right, let's go to number 15. It's a 1956 Nash Metropolitan. I, I don't have one of these now. My first one was yellow and white. This I wouldn't mind buying. 36. 41. I'm done. 3,500, I was comfortable. At five grand, I'm not comfortable. All right, let's go to number 17. It's a 1996 Cadillac Fleetwood. You want to buy that car for just a few grand? Not a lot. 
Two, three grand, $3,500. Two grand, one four. That's too much money. Number 27, here you go. It is a 1995 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. I ought to buy this NASCAR Jeff consumer. Gordon I can't sell the one I've got. I'd like to buy it for five. This would be a great punishment for me. I can't sell both of them. A 95 Monte Carlo like that. Without all the stuff on it, it's probably worth less than a grand. Now it's bringing 10 grand, but it does have no provenance and almost no miles. I'm interested in this Jeep, a little trailer. That would be very cool. Teddy and I both like riding around on those vehicles. It's fun, and they sell. They're all right. Well, the trailer is just strictly, you know, it's military, and it's part of what the Jeep is all about, and it looks right with it. There's a lot of big buyers here. You don't ever know what they're going to like. Maybe they'll like military, maybe they won't. Normally, they like it. What do you figure it's worth? Possibly uh, 23, 25,000. That's more than twice what I think. Really? I mean, you, I think it'll you sell know, for you know 15. About them than I, do. I don't know. I think it'll sell for mid teens. 15 to 18. You've been on this? For 10 years. None my style. Speed. What do you think this is worth? Probably 10. Need to be waiting on I'll figure less. If I can stay under 10, it becomes a good deal for me. Coming up next, we've got a 1971 M15A2. Ford. That's right, a 1971, look at this Army Jeep, 141.5 cubic inches, 71 horsepower engine, four-speed manual transmission, and we're going to start the bidding on number 25, by the way, it does come with the trailer, right now. I won the auction on the Jeep at 7,500, but the guy said no. So I've got to try to go to the deal doctor and salvage the deal. 